What's up, Buckers? It's your boy Big Country here, and it's finally time for my 2015 in the bag. So this year, I'll be representing Team Infinite Discs and, of course, Team Huck and Aces. Let's get right into it. I got my Saline Ember bag here. It's a downgrade from my Mystery Ranch Golf Mahal, which was just a little too much bag for me. So we'll get into putters. We got two putting putters which are my carbon touches from Salient. Um, they're both identical, same weight, same amount of bead in, very straight, a um, little bit of fade on them like I like, a nice bead. Then I got my upshot, uh, understable driving putter and jump putt putter, which is a Salient liquid touch. It's a little gummier, it tends to hit and stick, and it's a little less all-around stable, so it's, it's a lot straighter. I've also got an Ikun Claws, which is an overstable lid. Um, you guys know that I love lids, and I love the Ikun Claws because it's overstable. Uh, the high speed portion. So you can put a lot of power on it and it's still going to fly straight and then just drop to the earth. Then I've got two Envies from MVP. I've got a Neutron Envy, which is my most versatile Envy. I can really do anything with it. And then I've got my slightly more overstable Oreo Soft Envy. Um, I love these as soon as I got it from Infinite. Um, it's a little more overstable, but it's sort of like straight to fade. Um, and I can kind of do a little flex shot with it. The thing I like about the Envy is I can keep them low. So I can throw them like a mid-range, but with putter distance. Reptilian Disc Golf Scale. This one here is in the eraser plastic, but I've got a stack of scales this big, everything from fossil to fossil fuel to armor, tar pit, anything they make the scale in, I have one. And this one is just purely overstable. Um, it hooks up almost right out of the hands. You gotta throw it nice and high because it's based off the wizard, so it's more of a traditional putter, but very overstable, also good for sidearms. mid-ranges not carrying as many as I did last year I carry three rocks I've got my understable rock which is a champion USDGC Ontario I beat this up enough that I could throw it straight to get late turn or I could do big sweeping anhyzers with it I can hyzer flip it to straight but I don't really use that shot too much because I have a rock three this is marked as a 180 but actually scales a 177 and those three grams, believe it or not, actually make a difference in a Rock 3. Unless I beat this up a little bit. It's very high speed stable, and I have sort of knocked the low speed stability off it, so it's just very, very straight. I can get some turn if I want it to. Um, sort of like those low level Anheusers instead of the sweeping Andes. And then I've got my Overstable Rock, which is a nice flat 2006 USDGC Rancho uh, Champion Rock. And this one's great because it's got a little bit of turn to it, but a nice healthy fade too. So I can give it just a touch, a couple degrees of hyzer, and it'll flip to flat, carry a really long ways, fade off. And then my last mid is another new addition to the bag, which is the Buzz OS. It's a drone bottom with a Buzz top, and it's just super beefy. When I need something to hook up hard, or I'm throwing into the winds, throw the Buzz OS. drivers pretty much still sticking with t-birds my understable fairway driver this year instead of the legacy patriot is the ikun who 
Uh, this is super glidey and super understable. So what I like to do is if I've got a big distance Anheuser shot, I'll release it flat and it'll come out flat and right as it hits peak speed, it starts to bank off. It's very controllable and it's also super good for rollers. This is my main roller disc. Uh, then I got a variety of T-Birds. We'll go from most overstable to least stable. I've got the Brinster Bird from last year, the Flat Glow Bird from last year, a nice fresh Star T-Bird. This one is a really stiff sort of overstable Forest Star T-Bird run, and a nice beat up Champion T-Bird. Lastly, my overstable utility fairway is a salient liquid vein. It's nice and domey, got a bead on the bottom so it doesn't beat up very quick. And I like to say that this has the flip up of a T-Bird with the fade of a Banshee. So I can release it flat and actually see just a little bit of turn out of it before it just really hooks up. Or I can put a small degree of hyzer, flip to flat, gnarly fade, great for side arms and overhand shots. And I'm rolling with two control drivers this year, Discmania PDs. I've got a G-Line PD, nice uh, malleable disc, really hasn't beat up at all, flies the same as it did the day I got it. I'm going to get a lot of turn out of it, a little bit of fade, I put an Anheuser angle on it, it's going to hold it. If I release it flat, it's going to hold that, maybe it's a little bit of turn. Then a C-Line, and a Jacob's PD. These are a little domier, a little smaller parting line height. distance drivers. I've got a nice VIP plastic sorcerer. This is sort of my flippy distance driver. It's not really flippy, but it's what I use for max distance shots. It's super gliding, a lot of turn, a lot of fade. Uh, for you guys who aren't so familiar with West Side, it's kind of like an end of a turn. Then I carry two giants. I've got a BT giant straight from my buddy in Finland. It's pretty beat up. Um, super glidy for a giant and just very Ugh. straight with fade not not super beefy for a giant and then I've got a nice TP giant that is sort of my headwind driver um, still get a lot of distance out of it good glide but some big fade too the very last disc is my ultimate utility disc, and that's a light disc on the side. Uh, this is super flat, super fast, super stable. Side arms, overhand rollers, overhand shots, spike hyzers, skip shots, it does it all. You can tell it's got a lot of mud and rim that's from skipping shots. So it's a great disc to have, and uh, I don't really backhand this much because it's just so overstable. Ha, ha, ha.